Welcome to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt, and today we're reviewing two bourbons, not from Kentucky, not from Indiana, not from Tennessee, but from the home of my main man, Nelly. These two bottled and bond buggers are from the MI Crooked Letter, Crooked Letter. These bourbons are six years old, 100 proof, and bottled and bond. They're from Missouri, they're Ben Holiday. They're both distilled and aged in Missouri. So what in the heck does Missouri distillate taste like? Let's find out as we review these tonight. America. America. The first Ben Holiday that I poured is their bottled and bond six year old rye mash bill bourbon. It was distilled in the spring of 2016 and bottled in September 2022. Distilled, aged, and bottled by Holiday Distillery, Weston, Missouri. It's got a buggy and some barrels on the label, so you know that if you want to boogie with some barrels, you can use the buggy to boogie. And the second bottle I poured was their weeded distillate. This is a six year weeded bottled and bond bugger. It's got a red truck and a guy lifting with his back and not his legs like they tell you to. This was distilled in spring 2017 and bottled in May 2023. Both of these bottles ring in at the $60 price range. Oh wow, that's nice. Wow. It has a Cracker Jack inside of a Sweet Tarts box. The rye version kind of reminds me of a baseball game for some reason. The nose on their rye version of the Bottled and Bond product is very soft and very appealing and like, I don't know, extra inviting. Not a lot of ethanol is jumping out of the glass. It's just a very remarkably sweet yet subtly spectacular nose. There's not a lot of barrel influence like making its way into my nose pipes, but also there's not a lot of grain. This noses like a really good six year bourbon. Now let's nose the weeded version. Ooh, hello red wheat. The weeded version is a bit more gentle on the nose, softer yet. The weeded version is a very delicate bourbon on the nose. Maybe a tiny bit of nuttiness on the nose of the weeded version. Let's go in for a taste of the six year Ben Holiday Missouri Straight Bourbon Whiskey Bottled in Bond rye mash bill bourbon. That is so good. It's sweet. It's not argumentative at all. It coats the mouth rather nicely. It's got a nice bright finish. There are no jagged edges or like off-putting notes in here that kind of make you take a step back. No. This is a very approachable, very well done, Kentucky light bourbon made in friggin' Missouri. This is unique, but not overly unique enough where you think that it's something weird. No, this is something good. It's something very good. Nothing about this whatsoever says craft at all. This is completely, totally legitimate, fantastic friggin' bourbon. There's a bit of citrus maybe a tad bit of nuttiness on the finish, but definitely not over nutty, like a mother-in-law who can't find her bingo dauber. It's so well balanced and nice. Is this something that's gonna blow the wig off of your head? No. It's not a bourbon that's gonna stop you in your tracks, but it is a very nice step in a different direction outside of Kentucky that puts a smile on your face and you're like, I could drink this every friggin' days. It is a small batch. We don't necessarily know what that means, how small of a batch, but on the side label, they're breaking down the parts of the Rick House in which they made this blend from, where they're pulling their barrels from for this bottling. Is there much of a batch variance? I don't know. I won't know until I get a different batch, but you can bet your ass that I'm gonna go to the store and look for a different batch so I can compare this batch's ass to another ass of a different batch. Moving to the weeded version down the hatch. Okay, Ooh. a bit brighter, a bit shinier, a bit more zippy. If the first bottle I tasted sang at this octave, blow! 
then the soft red weeded version sings more like it's pitched a bit higher. We're getting more shiny notes, maybe a bit more floral, maybe a tinge more ethanol is coming through on the palette as well. There's like some bitter dark chocolate mixed with maybe like an apple peel and then maybe a little bit of stone fruit towards the back end. The finish is a bit bitter and a bit more astringent than I was hoping for. But then again, the bottle just got opened, so we will revisit it later to see if it's improved. I prefer the Ride Mash Bill bourbon over the soft red wheat. I'm going to have to put the weeded version in a flight against like Makers 46, Bardstown Origin, Green River Weeded, Weller Special Reserve, just to see how it fares in a weeded bourbon blind flight. But that's not going to happen on this evening, but it will happen a different night. But I'm super excited to see where Holiday Distillery is headed. An eight year version of this is going to be crazy good. A 10 year version, I think would be remarkable. What does it taste like at higher proofs? I'm not sure, but I do believe that I read that there's like a distillery release that's higher proof. I don't know. I'm going to have to stop there on my way to Kentucky next weekend to find out because gosh dang, I like it. This video would not be complete unless I gave them scores. The weeded version of the Ben Holiday Bottled and Bond. The soft red wheat receives a score from me today of 7.2. And the standard Ben Holiday Missouri Straight Bourbon Whiskey Bottled and Bond. This is a great bourbon out of Missouri. It is great. It's an 8.0. I'm giving it the eights. It's a friggin' 8.0. If you haven't tried these and you have them available in your area and they're around the $60 price point, I would say that they are definitely worth picking up. The bottles are beautiful. The labels are so friggin' nice. I love these labels. They look really good. They taste really good. I'm a big fan of Ben Friggin' Holiday. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. If you haven't liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Have you tasted these Ben Holiday bourbons yet? And what do you think? Are you a ginormic fan? Are you a huge fan? Do you love it? Do you absolutely love it? My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on doing things crazy cool in Missouri, like putting a band-aid under your eye and singing about country grammars and rolling your windows down and singing about St. Louis with the St. Lunatics. Like I said, I'm gonna be driving through friggin' Missouri next weekend. If you wanna go and take a ride with me and I think that I might just take a bit of a detour to stop by Holiday Distillery because I need to find out what in the heck is in their water or if Willy Wonka is there with a magic wand.